Hello everyone, welcome back. This is part two of my 1920s flapper look, going from a more kind of wearable glamish kind of look to a more kind of Halloween festive look where both you can definitely wear to an event or kind of a celebration that you have for the October Halloween period. Um, so yeah, so if you stick along, I'll show you how to access this. It's pretty accessible and easy to do. So don't be intimidated. Let's go. All right, guys, let's turn this into a part two part of this video. Let's make this look a little scarier. So I'm going to start in with my Lorac Pro palette. Let me zoom you out. You're a little too close. You're a little too close for comfort. Um, all right, so I'm grabbing the Makeup Forever Again liner, and we're just going to start giving it kind of like a skeleton type of... I feel like my camera's crooked. A skeleton type of look so it needs to be sharpened awkward I went to sharpen my pencil grabbing this I'm gonna use it to kind of outline the nose and I'm gonna start kind of just doing something like this and I believe it goes like this Kind of carve out where you would with like contour, so it's kind of like where that um, that shadow is. And we're gonna also use some shadow right here in this area to darken that up, and right around here. Be right there. And the teeth so we got work to do we got some shadow to do so I'm grabbing the black and I'm just going to also continue that on the cheek and I'm gonna color in the nose taking it on an angle and just kind of almost like Shading. I don't know if you're familiar with like painting or coloring, but kind of just like doing that to it. Kind of blending it in with the finger. I think when I look at you forward, you can't, you, can, you lose sight of it. So that's kind of why I'm trying to round it out and kind of create more of like a skeletal from the front. So maybe a little more structure right around here. Like so. Yeah, that's a little better. So there's a little angle if you can tell. Next, let's go ahead and do the eye part. So that's right here. Oh. Just blend it in with the finger. Let's go ahead and grab the white one that came in the little container. Again, I'm just trying to keep this a little bit more accessible. Um, so that's kind of why I went with this kind of stuff that you can literally find anywhere. And I just want this to kind of really define the nose and kind of work at an angle almost like that. And we're almost there. I just want to color a little bit more here. And I say the lips for last because I don't want the red to kind of stain the crayon. I'm 
I'm gonna grab that black again and I'm just going to kind of create the teeth. Create the little lines. And there you have it. Yeah, so pretty simple. Again, super accessible. I think sometimes we forget that like Halloween is supposed to be fun and not stressful, and sometimes some people have access and can have the spare change to kind of just spend a crazy amount. And some people may like it, right? That, that That's kind of what they enjoy. Versus other people's like, no, I just need to get like the basics and get there and feel like I fit in and not have to worry about um, whether I dropped so much cash on like my costume when it really is just for a couple of hours. So keep that in mind. Halloween's all about just having fun, making the best of what you have um, and enjoying, you know, the candy and the treats and all that stuff. So with that in mind, I hope that you guys have are having a very festive kind of two weeks into Halloween and um, I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.